What's going on guys, Juice Messy here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Sunday the 1st of September, got confirmed deals to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer episode. Episode. And finally, in the comment section below, what team had the best transfer window in your opinion? Right, let's get started with some confirmed deals. And because tomorrow is deadline day for pretty much every single top European league, um, obviously aside from the Prem, there will be a lot to cover. First up then we have got Jeremy Menez. He's now a free agent after leaving Mexican side Club America and uh, now will be looking for a new club and potentially for FIFA 20, he won't be on the game at the very start. Oliver Burke has joined Alaves in Spain from West Brom on a season long loan and I think last year was playing for Celtic. And Soki has joined OGC Nice from PSG for a 12.5 million euro fee and there is apparently a buyback option for PSG in the future. Kevin Morales has joined Belgian side Royal Antwerp from Everton on a free deal and last year was playing in the Serie A. Lang has moved to Werder Bremen from Borussia Mönchengladbach on loan for the rest of the season as also an option to buy next summer. Real Sociedad have signed Nacho Monreal from Arsenal and the rumoured fee, um, some sites are saying up to £3 million but most, uh, they are suggesting it's just €250,000. Either way though, he signed a two-year contract with a Spanish side and he was at Arsenal for a fair amount of time. Swedish goalkeeper Olsen has moved to Cagliari on loan from Roma for the season. Um, I don't believe there's an option to buy for that one. A player you may recognise back from, I think it was at FIFA 13 when he has a really good bronze card and that is Benzia. He joined Olympiacos in Greece from Lille uh, last year's playing in Turkey. I think it's just a base loan deal. Martin Caceres joined Fiorentina from Juventus, although technically he was a free agent um, after his Juve contract expired and it was a free deal. De Freo has re-signed for Sassuolo in the Serie A from Roma. It's a loan worth €3 million Euros for the year and a €9 million Euro obligation to buy next summer. Ndiaye moved to Al-Shabaab in the Saudi Pro League from Malaga and €6 million Euro fee for him. El Yanusi joined Celtic from Southampton on loan for the season and it never worked out for him. I believe he joined them this time last year or maybe two years ago and has really struggled for first team football. Fernando Llorente moved to Napoli on a free transfer because he was a free agent after leaving Tottenham and he signed a two year contract with the Serie A Giants. Giovanni Simeone has joined Cagliari from Fiorentina on loan for the season as well and there is a 16 million euro obligation to buy if certain conditions are met next summer. Um, so most likely the deal will go through, it was also linked to Sporting a couple days ago. Laxel has joined Torino from AC Milan, also a loan deal the option to buy this time and uh, his fee is going to be potentially 12 million euros. Chris Smalling's move to Roma was confirmed on Friday from Manchester United. It's just a loan deal for the season for £3 million, uh, no option to buy there. And Alexis Sanchez's move to Inter was confirmed from United and it's a loan with United paying a majority of his wages. A player that has been linked to a move away from United for a fair amount of time now is going to be Matteo Damian and now it looks like he will finally be leaving and it's just for £1.4 million. Pretty much every outlet is saying that Palmer have agreed to sign him on a permanent basis as there was talk of a potential loan deal. And bear in mind they paid like £13 to £15 million for him when they brought him in so that's a fairly large loss. Arsenal midfielder Mohamed Elneny is close to joining Besiktas on loan for the rest of the campaign, that's before Monday's European transfer deadline. The 27 year old is out of favour at the Emirates, as yet to feature in a matchday squad this season. Alongside Elneny, apparently Unai Emery has told uh, Mustafi as well he can look for a new club, and it wouldn't surprise if by the deadline both have new teams. Sky Sports are saying Club Bruges have agreed a £12 million deal with Tottenham for midfielder Victor Wanyama. Uh, a similar situation to El Nenny, he's not getting first team football and uh, not really been included in the matchday squad and now wants to become a regular on the pitch again. A very interesting one now that should be confirmed by today pretty much is going to be Keylor Navas going to PSG and also Ariola going to Real Madrid. Actually, I say the transfer should be done today, but according to market, it will be confirmed on Monday instead. 
So it'll be a player plus cash deal. Uh, PSG will pay Real Madrid 13.5 mil to 15 million for the Costa Rican international keeper. And it'll also allow Ariola to go to Real Madrid on a one year loan deal. Ariola will be the backup to Courtois and he's agreed personal terms already. And the reason the deal will be announced on Monday instead is because both clubs have had games this weekend. Um, PSG played on Friday night, in fact. But either way, they wanted to have the backup goalkeeper there just in case, uh, obviously in case an injury occurred. Napoli defender Husai has agreed terms on a possible transfer to Valencia, as according to Gianluca Damasio. The La Liga outfit are hoping to secure the right back on a loan with the option to buy next season. He featured regularly for Napoli since joining from Empoli back in 2015, but appears eager to now test himself in Spain. There was previous interest there from Atletico Madrid, Chelsea and Tottenham, but no deal materialised. A very short one from Diario Sport is saying that Barca midfielder Rafinha is set to complete a move to Valencia as well. It should be done by the deadline and Barca have fallen a little bit short in the attacking options because they have on paper obviously got a lot of options. They've also picked up a fair amount of injuries the last couple of weeks. And now Radio Marte are saying Napoli have been offered Chelsea striker Michi Batshuayi on loan. The Blues are reportedly even willing to cover some of the Belgian salary as in order to make a move happen. I'm actually pretty surprised about that one as well because um, obviously Chelsea this season, they couldn't bring a striker in. Morata's gone to Atletico Madrid. Their main options right now are Tammy Abraham, Giroud um, and Batshuayi. And if you go back 18 months or so ago when Batshuayi went to Dortmund for half a season, um, that's when myself in particular were like, you know what, that's reignited his career. But since then, it's gone a bit quiet again. Udinese's Rodrigo de Paul is subject of interest from AC Milan, as a to Calcio Mercato. The Rossoneri looks set to miss out on a deal for Atletico Madrid's Angel Correa, with de Paul next on their list of attacking targets. Udinese are likely to demand a fee of 35 million euros for the 25 year old, and other players that AC Milan are looking at are going to be Everton from Gremio in Brazil and Brahim Diaz from Real Madrid. And now we move on to two different stories about Icardi and the very first one is from Gianluca Damasio. He said Monaco have agreed a 65 million euro fee with Inter Milan for Mauro Icardi, but the striker is still refusing to move. They've offered him 10 million euros a year and Monaco do have some optimism a deal can be reached. And if that does happen, the door is now open for Falcao to join Galatasaray. And it makes sense because Monaco have already signed Slimani on loan from Leicester and Ben Yedder from Sevilla. But the next Icardi story comes from ESPN. They said Atletico Madrid are in talks to sign Inter striker Icardi and be a one year loan deal. But on top of that, also be an option to buy next summer for 70 million euros. Inter are looking to sell the striker outright this transfer window, but the La Liga side would prefer to sign Icardi on an initial loan deal. And uh, apparently Icardi has now taken legal action against Inter Milan, that's for discrimination. He's suing the club for 1.5 million euros in damages, and he also wants to be let back into their squad. That's a really, really odd situation because Inter have made it public now for months on end that they want him to leave and um, he was their captain, lost the captaincy, also lost his number nine shirt. He has been given the number seven shirt for this season, but they're still trying to sell him with one day left. If a deal goes through, it's going to go right to the wire. The rumour suggested that he apparently was holding out for a move to Juventus, but they never came ahead of a proper offer for him. And um, for Atletico Madrid, they have got a lot of strikers for next season, and uh, apparently Diego Costa could be leaving them. So Icardi adds to that front line with Joao Felix and whatnot. It's very good on paper. And now we have our daily story and daily update about Neymar. And I think we're at the point now where most of us, including myself, we're pretty tired of seeing all this Neymar speculation. But ESPN are saying Barca will not make another offer for the Paris Saint-Germain star. PSG made a demand of 130 million euros plus Rakitic, Todibo and Usman Dembele on loan, which was rejected by Barca. While the Spanish champions are not ending their hope of signing Neymar, they are unwilling to make any further offers themselves. And because there's only two days left now technically, if a deal goes through, it means that PSG have to approach Barca yet again and somewhat compromise on a potential offer. 
And like I just mentioned before, it's been a transfer saga that it's dragged on a long, long time and it's pretty much been a news story every single day. But on top of that, one day it's on, one day it's off. Just a couple days ago, Damaso, who's very reliable, he was saying it's a done deal. And I do understand PSG being very hard to negotiate with because he is their star player alongside Mbappe and they don't want to lose him out on like a potential lower fee than they want or kind of give Barca the advantage in the deal. And pretty much every single other story is saying that if a deal doesn't go through for Neymar himself, he will buckle down and fully focus on Paris Saint-Germain yet again. And next up, Jugones are saying Florentino Perez wants Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. to play together at Real Madrid. PSG apparently wanted Vinicius Jr. as part of a deal for Neymar, and Real were like, you know what, that is not happening at all. So uh, maybe the target or the plan for Perez, it'll be next year, next two years or so, Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., Hazard, uh, maybe Luka Jovic, so many options. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer episode. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.